All right, so I'm thinking about what to make for your cocktail this week. Hello? What's up? Yeah, so I'm thinking about a white lady. She hot? What? You said you're thinking about a lady. Bro, she hot? No, it's a drink, and no, it's cold. You're cold? Turn the AC off. Dude, I'm not cold. The drink is. Bro, we're talking about drinks here. Oh, I get it. You're meeting her for drinks? What? Who's meeting for drinks? The white lady. Dude, there is no white lady. She cancel on you? All right, so let's get started on this beat. But before I jump in, Bar Guy has been hounding me about reminding you guys to like and subscribe each video. So if you haven't done so and you like this content, make sure you do it. Uh, but yeah, let's jump right into the beat and get started. All right, so the sample we're gonna be using is from this record. Awesome record, another one of those with a bunch on it. Um, but one song in particular is one that I like, so we're gonna grab that. And it's one of those ones that has just a kind of different chops that I wanna experiment with, but it's not one of the ones that's gonna be like a loop straight forward. So we're just gonna chop it up and see what we can work with. <laughs> I like that part right there, that little. Yeah, so we're gonna take those little beginning little stabs and we're gonna see what we can do with it. All right, so I got each of those little chops on the pads, just the ones that I thought were gonna sound the coolest. So I do have this one and then this guy, as well as this cool rain stick sounding. And with the delay, it really sounds cool because it kind of like, you know, you know what it is. All right, so we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna, I think, play around with adding this one and, and jumping into 16 levels. So if you're not like an MPC user and you're not familiar with that, essentially what we're doing is grabbing this sample and then throwing that sample at a different tuning on each of the pads. So it sounds like this. And then all the way down to the 16th pad. And I actually do like the sound of this. So I think we're gonna start there. But yeah, that's essentially how I write out my bass lines, how I like manipulate the samples and just play around with tuning. It's essentially like laying it out on a keyboard and you can get creative with, you know, that type of stuff. So yeah, so we're gonna create a little pattern here and I think I have something in mind already. So let's see what we got. Okay, so I'm actually really liking that just as the bass, and then we're gonna throw um, those other two chops on there as well. And those, remember, are this one and this guy. All right, cool. So I think that's gonna do it for the main sample um, as far as that arrangement. So now let's move on to adding in the drums. So for the drums, I already kind of grabbed um, some from different records. So that's what I have right here. So let's see, I have this hi-hat, I have another one panned a little left. I do like the combination of both of them. Um, and then yeah, so I got snare and kick. So between these. Yeah, something like that. So I think what I'm gonna do is take the bass now. So it's just one little bass note that I grabbed from a record and we're gonna throw that on 16 levels now. And then again, we have the same thing you know, basically a keyboard of the bass sample. So now I'm just gonna kinda, you know, make a new uh, bass pattern and see what we can get with it. So like a Something like that. Creates like a kind of counter melody there, which I like. Um, usually I like to, if, if the sample is kind of simple, I like to make the bass a little bit more complex. And if the bass is more simple, I like to make the sample a little bit more complex. So I think now we're gonna grab some type of like horn sample or you know something else, maybe a vocal sample. So we're gonna see what we can find here. All right, so I grabbed this. There's a lot of good stuff on this record. Um, yeah, so I think I have something in mind. I know there's a lot of good sax licks on here. There's a ton of good road samples, but since we already kind of have something similar to that, probably gonna stay away from any more keyboards. So let's see what we can find as far as saxophone. Yeah, right there, I like that note. Okay, so we're gonna throw that on the pad here with the added delay. And then I actually took a, a separate one right here 
just to add to it. So yeah, I think I'm gonna try and find another little sample, little vocal snippet or something like that to add to it. Um, just like on a, every other few bars or something like that. Uh, maybe some oohs or ahs or just something to add in there to kind of mix it up. But other than that, I'm gonna throw that in the final mix, uh, but I think the beat is done. And now we're gonna kick it over to Bar Guy and make that cocktail. Try this. Mm. Hey, you should make this for your lady friend. 